Today, we are going to discuss the self-learning module of Grade 7, Quarter 1, Module 5, or Week 1. In music, simple rhythmic patterns will be introduced and to widen your interest in music, at the same time, perform creative presentation of the activities. You will be able to sing accurately the selected song, improvise simple rhythmic patterns, and perform on selected music from the lowlands of Luzon. Rhythm is the most important element of time in music. It is the basic repetitive falls of the music, or the rhythmic pattern that is repeated throughout the music. It is the music component that makes us move, or even just tap the foot when we listen to a song. In order to read, identify, and transcribe rhythms, you need to become familiar with rhythm notations and rhythm patterns. This mainly involves indicating when a note happens, how long it lasts, and what the common rhythm is. As you can see on your screen, every note na nakalagay dyan ay merong katumbas na beat or rhythm. So for example, whole note merong 4 beats, half note merong 2 beats, quarter note merong 1 beat, 8th note half a beat, and 16th note uh, 1 for the beat. This video is about counting. We now know how to recognize and read different notes, but putting them together in a sequence, i.e. actually playing a song from a sheet of music, can still be really difficult. To make it a bit easier, a lot of us use counting and clapping to figure out rhythms before we even touch a keyboard. That way when we do start playing, we know exactly how it's meant to sound. Now playing rhythms can be challenging because you're essentially counting two things at the same time, the beat of the song, and the actual rhythm you're playing over that beat. Counting the beat is pretty easy because it doesn't change. We're gonna use 4-4 time, also called common time because it's so common. So we're just gonna count 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Counting the rhythm can get a little trickier because it's not as steady or reliable. To help out, we use different words to keep track of different rhythms. As we said before, in 4-4 four, four time, quarter notes last one beat, so we just count them on the beat as 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Eighth notes, however, only last half a beat, so we need to add an and between the beats to track them. So we count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Sixteenth notes have four notes per beat. 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a... And with triplets, we count them as one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. This is where clapping really helps us because we have to keep track of both the beat and the rhythm at the same time. So what I like to do is clap and say the actual rhythm we're playing but track the beat by continuing to say one, two, three, four as I go. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and a four. One, two, three and four. Rhythmic pattern. It is a steady beat or a combination of notes created following a specific time signature. A rhythmic pattern is anything that has some kind of a false that can be repeated. For example, counting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is a rhythmic pattern using words. Here is an example of simple rhythmic pattern for three-part time signature. In this rhythmic pattern, the time signature used is 3-4. So there are three beats in every measure. The first beat is a rest. The second and third beat are played. And the same rhythmic pattern is applied in the second measure. In this chart, 
Makikita natin kung ano ang stick notation, rhythm syllable, ilan ang sound kada heartbeat, at kung ano ang notation name. Una, quarter note. So, ganito ang itsura ng kanyang stick notation. Rhythm syllable niya ay ta. Meron siyang one sound per heartbeat. Pangalawa ay eight note. Ganito ang kanyang stick notation. Rhythm syllable niya ay T. T. Meron siyang two even sounds per one heartbeat. Next is quarter rest. So, ganito ang itsura ng kanyang stick notation. Rhythm syllable is ta, rest. No sound per one heartbeat. And the last one is the half note. Ito naman ang itsura ng kanyang stick notation. Rhythm syllable is ta, a. One sound per two heartbeats. On the next slide, malalaman naman natin kung paano ba ang clapping according sa stick notation. Again, this is the chart for the stick notation, rhythm syllable, and notation name. Nasa baba naman kung ilan yung clap or kung paano ikaklap ang kada nota. Quarter notes, eight notes, and the half notes. Introduction to Rhythm Reading So dito naman ay magkakaroon tayo ng activity kung paano kinaklap ang kada nota at kada stick notation. So, please open your camera para malaman ko kung sino-sino ang mga nagpa-participate sa activity na to. Again, open your camera. So, sa quarter note, uh, you're going to clap only once. Sa 8 notes, you're going to clap twice. Sa half note, clap once and hold forward. And this is for the quarter rest. Wala tayong maririnig kasi quarter rest siya. Okay? No sound. Ready na? Again, open your camera para makita ko kung sino-sino ang nagpa-participate para pag nag-replay ako ng video.
As you can see in the musical score sheet of Laron Laron Sinta, siya ay nasa 2-4 time signature. So, there are 2 beats in every measure. In this online activity, we are going to clap repeatedly the rhythmic pattern of the Leron Leron Sinta for you to become familiar with the rhythmic pattern. As you can see on your monitor or screen, ang Leron Leron Sinta ay nasa 2-4 time signature, therefore meron siyang uh, 2 beats per measure. So dito sa activity na to, uh, magkaklap ako, then kayo ay sasabay habang ako ay nagkaklap ng rhythmic pattern ng Leron Leron Sinta. Babagalan ko lang per line. Open your camera so that I can see those students na nagpa-participate on this online activity. Ready? Sabayan ako sa clapping. Leron Leron Sinta Buko ng papaya Dalay, dalay, buslo Sisidlan ng bunga Pagdating sa dulo Nabali ang sanga Kapos kapalaran Humanap ng iba for your activity 1 in music, you are going to sing the song whether ati ko pong sing sing or leron leron sinta while clapping, tapping, walking, or playing localized instruments with the rhythmic pattern. Use any localized instrument to play with the rhythmic pattern while singing the song. Pwede nyo gamitin yung ginawa nyo last week module na drums and shakers. Okay? So, kung ang mapipili nyo ay ati ko pong sing-sing, so, siya ay nasa 3-4 time signature. Ang leron-leron sinta naman ay 2-4 time signature. Pipili lang kayo ng isa na pwede nyo gawin. Record through video, then you are going to upload it sa FB group. Ito yung example on how are we going to create simple rhythmic pattern and perform Leron Leron Sinta using different materials in our surroundings. Dito sa video na to, gumamit ako ng two arnis sticks as my improvised accompaniment for the song. So the rhythmic uh, pattern was done repeatedly. So ito ay example lang para sa activity nyo later. Leron, leron, sinta, buko ng papaya, dala, dalay, buslo, sisidla ng buha, pagdating sa dulo, nabali ang sanga, kapos kapalaran, humanap ng iba. Ito naman yung example on how are we going to do or sing the song at iko pong sing-sing while clapping, tapping, or even walking with the rhythmic pattern. So, dito gumamit ako again ng Arnis Stick as my improvised accompaniment for this song. So, kayo, pwede kayong gumamit or pwede nyo gamitin yung ginawa nyong uh, drum or yung shakers nyo noong week 4 para sa activity na to. Iko pong sing sing, metong yang timpukan, hama na kaiti, kangin dong ibatan, sang kanteng sininok, sing metong akaban, mewala ya iti, eko kamalayan. Kukong sing sing, metong yang timpukan, hama na kaiti, kangin dong ibatan, sang kanteng sininok, sing metong akaban, 
me walaya iti eko kamalayan. For your activity 2 in music, you're going to look again at the music sheet of Atikul Pong Sing Sing na nandyan sa module nyo. Then, you're going to write the rhythmic pattern of each measure using the following rhythmic syllables. So, kung ganito, yan, ta. Next, ganito naman. At kung half note siya, so ta, ha. Ah. So, paano ba gagawin yun? Ito yung example. So, meron siyang, uh, sa measure niya, is, uh, meron siyang 3 beats per measure. So, yan yun. So, ito ay drawing nyo muna to sa notebook nyo or sa papel para dun nyo isusulat yung mga sagot. So, ganyan lang yung makikita kong sagot. Mga symbols lang. Okay? So, para dito sa lines na atin ko pong sing-sing na nanandyan nakasulat sa module, so, symbols lang ang makikita ko kada measure. Okay? For the check your understanding in music, you are going to create your own rhythmic pattern for the following time signature. 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, and 2-4. So, kanina na-discuss ko kung ano yung mga simple rhythmic patterns. So, balikan nyo na lang yon para masagutan nyo tong check your understanding. So, after that, you're going to take a picture of your answers and then upload it to our FB group para magridan siya. In physical education week 5, we are going to discuss the fundamental skills of our knees, specifically in the 12 striking techniques. So, what are the 12 basic strikes of our knees? Number one, right temple strikes. So, you're going to uh, strike using the forehand strikes to the right temple, as you can see on the picture. Number two is the left hand strike. Tignan nyo mabuti yung picture kung paano siya ginagawa. Backhand strikes to the left temple. Right shoulder strike for number 3. Forehand strike to the right shoulder. Number 4, left shoulder strike. Backhand strike to the left shoulder. 5, thrust to the stomach. Straight on stab or thrust to the stomach. Number 6, right chest attack. So, overhand stab. To or thrust to the right chest. 7. Left chest attack, underhand stab or thrust to the left chest. 8. Left knee attack, backhand strike to the left knee. 9. Right knee attack, forehand strike to the right knee. Tignan mabuti yung picture ah. 10. Right eye attack. Overhand stab or thrust to the right eye. 11. Left eye attack. Underhand stab or thrust to the left eye. And number 12 is the crown strike. Straight down a strike to the top of the head. Basic strikes of modern art. Starting with a forehand strike to the head, this is a number 1. A backhand strike to the head is a number two. Forehand strike to the body, number three. That also could be to the arm. Backhand strike, number four. A slight upward thrust, that's five. Going to the chest, thrusting, slight downward action is six. It could also come straight. Number seven, to the other side of the chest. Again, it could also come with a downward angle. From the ready position, now we strike a number eight, which is to the leg. 
backhand strike, anywhere from the hip to the foot, generally the knee. To the right side, number nine. Now to the eye, number 10. 11, the other eye. 12, straight down top of the head. One, forehand strike to the head. Again, it could be anywhere from the top of the head to the point of the shoulder. It could be here. It could be the ear. It could be the temple. That's one. Two, backhand strike to the head. Three, to the elbow. Or, if his arm was up, it would be to the body. Four, the other side. Five, slight upward. Six, to the chest. Again, it could be at a downward angle as well. Seven. Eight, nine, now again, point of the hip all the way to the foot. This could be at the ankle, could be the hip, or right at the knee. Ten to the eye, but for safety purposes, instead of stopping right here, we'll go past the head. And then that was eleven and twelve, top of the head. For your PE activity, you are going to record yourself while doing the following activities and post it on our EPI group PE Week 5. Hanapin nyo lang kung anong week at kung saan kayo mag upload So, letter A, warm-up activities. Ayan na yung mga gagawin nyo. Letter B, stick exercises. So, one wrist rotation. So, follow the instructions on how are you going to do the exercises properly. Number two, cross arm wrist rotation. Sundan nyo lang yung instructions dyan. Number three, wing stretcher. And number four, upward and downward exercises. Kung walang arnis stick, katulad ng sinabi ko last week, pwede kayong gumamit ng rolled cartolina or manila paper basta magmumuka lang siyang arnis. So, mag-improvise na lang kung ano ang available sa bahay. Again, follow the instructions on your module on how are you going to do the exercises correctly and properly. Letter C, uh, proper 12 striking techniques. So, pwede kayong mag-drawing sa Manila paper para alam nyo kung saan nyo patatamaan. So, pwede rin kayong gumamit ng partner Pero make sure, huwag niyong patatamaan ng malakas kasi baka naman ma-injury yan. Okay? So, carefully lang sa paggamit ng mga uh, arnis sticks or ng car road cartolina. And letter D, cool down or static stretching exercises. So, gawin nyo yung sample na diniscuss ko last week. So, pwede rin tong gawin. Sample cool down static exercises. Okay. In health lesson, you are expected to explain or discuss the proper health appraisal procedures and its importance to achieving holistic health. Knowing these procedures can prepare you in assessing your health and somehow prevent more serious diseases in the future. Answer the following questions. Write your answers sa chat box. So, antayin nyo yung go signal ko bago nyo ilagay yung sagot nyo dyan sa chat box natin. First question, do you go with your parents to visit your doctor in private or sa barangay health center? Type yes or no sa chat box. So, kayo ba ay nagpapacheck up o hindi? Yes or no lang sa chat box. Tingnan ko nga kung sino-sino yung nagpapacheck up dati. Next question, can you identify the different medical tests that you had since you were in elementary grade? So, meron bang ginawa sa inyong medical examination or physical examination ng doktor? So, ano-ano yung mga exams na yon? 
So, all answers will be accepted. Type your answer sa chat box. Tignan nga natin sino-sino yung mga nagpa-participate. Health appraisal. It is a series of medical procedures to determine the health status of a child through health histories, teacher or nurse observations, and different screening tests like medical tests, dental exams, or psychological examination. What are the different screening tests? Weight taking. It is a process which you will do to be aware of your weight. Weight is defined as the heaviness or lightness of a person and may mean the weight of a person's body. Weighing beyond the normal weight may mean that the child is overnourished, which may also affect the child's health. It is important to get an accurate weight of growing up teens to assess whether a child is growing well or growing thin due to malnutrition or other factors. So, ano yung kailangan natin para makuha natin yung tamang timbang? Siyempre, kailangan natin ng weighing scale, pen and paper for recording. Procedure, wear a light clothing before weighing. On bare feet, stand on the weighing scale and keep still. The weight must be evenly distributed on the center of the scale. Record the result of your weight in kilograms. Reminders. Before stepping into the weighing scale, check the dial lever if it is at zero. Take turns in weighing and recording. Height taking. It is a process which you intend to measure your height. Height is a measurement from base to the top or from feet to head of the standing person. It is the distance between the feet on the floor to the top of the person's head. Height measurement can be done individually or with a partner for more accurate results. A tape measure, ruler or book, and pencil are used to measure a person's height. It is also best to perform the said activity with your back against a flat wall. A medical equipment that gives a more accurate measure of your height is called stadiometer. Medical examination or physical examination is a routine test wherein the pediatrician or a family doctor may feel or listen to the different parts of the person's body to keep track of changes in one's physical health. Check for medical conditions or possible diseases and or determine whether further tests are required. The doctor may also ask about other medical complaints that a patient may have experienced prior to the visit. After examining the patients, a doctor may give vitamins as supplement or advise other tests to ensure the patient's optimum health and well-being. Breast self-examination or regularly examining your breast on your own can help adolescents check any irregularities that might need medical attention in the future. It can be an important way to find a breast cancer early. What are you going to do if you find a lump on your breast? Do not panic if you think you feel a lump in your breast. Do not hesitate to call your doctor if you have noticed a lump or other breast change that is new or worrisome. This is especially true for changes that last more than one full menstrual cycle or seem to get better or more prominent in some way. Develop the habit of doing breast self-examination monthly. It is advised that since there are normal changes that occur during or before menstruation, perform the breast self-examination preferably right after menstruation. 
follow the procedures written on your module to self-examine your breast. Scoliosis. It is a deformity of the spine, where the spine curves to the side often with an S-shaped or C-shaped curve. It commonly occurs when the young teens experience a growth spurt just before puberty. However, the condition can appear at any age. Dr. Byron Garcia, a rehabilitation medicine specialist, adds that scoliosis is treatable if identified earlier the better. There are no data yet regarding scoliosis in the Philippines, according to DOH or Department of Health. But Dr. Oliveros, or Oliveros, together with his team, and Amanda Bonife Kiamco, a scoliosis awareness advocate who founded Scoliosis Philippines, are pushing for the children's initial screening for scoliosis in school to be mandatory from 6th grade to 8th grade. Hearing test. It is a process to detecting one's hearing capability. It is necessary to allow children to go through audiology evaluation while growing up to avoid hearing loss. Loss of the ability to hear during childhood can be congenital, delayed onset, acquired, or progressive in nature. In some cases, a mild hearing loss cannot normally be identified through a routine hearing screening. An audiometer is used by an audiologist to determine a person's hearing sensitivity at different frequencies. Weber test or RINA test are examples of hearing test. Vision test. It checks different functions of the eye. This is usually done along with the examinations with complete apparatus and test that check the health of the eye, such as poropter or poroptor and Snellen chart. Dental checkup. Teenagers are advised to visit the dentist at least twice a year to prevent gingivitis, cavities, plaque buildup, and to take care of their fairly white teeth. The following may be examined during your visit to the dentist. Assess your overall oral health and hygiene. Assess your risk to tooth decay, root decay, and gum or bone diseases. Evaluate your need for tooth restoration or replacement. Remove stains or deposits on your teeth. Check your bite and jaw for problems. Dental or oral health must be maintained at its optimum to avoid damage to gums and teeth brought about by unhealthy eating habits such as eating junk foods and carbonated drinks. For your check your understanding in health, essay writing, you are going to write at least or not less than 5 sentences and answer each item in paragraph form. Number one, why is it important to follow specific instructions in the conduct of appraisal test? Number two, explain this quotation. An ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Again, you are going to take a picture of your answer and then upload it to our FB group.